All right, guys. Today's video, we're going to be going over this load of scrap metal here that people said wasn't worth any money. If you think that appliances aren't worth any money, uh, prices just went up at my local yard, so we'll be talking about that. And everything that was in the back of the truck, all copper and brass. This video, we're going to be breaking stuff down and weighing it up and see what money I made yesterday. Now, mind you, all this stuff didn't take much time yesterday. It took maybe two hours of my day to pick this stuff up and that stuff. And now I've got to spend an hour or so cleaning that up. So let's see what money we made yesterday. A wise man once told me, once you know how to make money and work hard, you'll never be poor. Well, this is how I make my money. All right, guys. So in that short video I posted, we uh, were talking about the scrap here and what was in the back of the truck. Oh, look, it's Lunchbox. Hey. Hey, Lunchbox. What are you doing? Not eating the metal. Oh, don't remember. We're going to never go brass the mouth. All right, guys. So we're going to take this stuff and clean this up. Get you a weight on what I picked up yesterday because some people were complaining and saying that, uh, oh, you're only going to make 40 bucks. That ain't $40, guys. No. Some of you didn't know. There's a lot of guys that don't know exactly um, what things cost and what they make, uh, you know, what you can make on the stuff. So that's what today's video is going to be. We're going to process this stuff and weigh it up. Got some other things to do. The weather's crappy, so we'll see what we can get done. All right, guys, so we got everything out of the yellow truck. This is everything I picked up yesterday. Not those coils, but the copper stuff that's here. Me and uh, Lunchbox are going to go through and weigh it up. That's a big piece of sheet copper. But you got to take the brass fittings and stuff off to get the most part. These with the aluminum on, we're just going to cut these and sell them as aluminum copper fins. But we're going to cut the brass and the, the heavier copper ends off. And then here's a mixed... Uh, one, there's a bunch of brass fittings and stuff in there. It's probably 20 pounds of brass or so, maybe 10, 15 pounds of brass just in this tote alone. And then this was also in there, that piece there, and a couple things that Joe threw on the bench for me. And there's the copper coil out of that boiler. Now I know this is going to bring at least 25 bucks. So now there was aluminum and electrical wire. In the mix oh, there was too. also yeah, there also was a bunch of aluminum right. we threw in the pile. Yeah, aluminum's gone. That doesn't weigh enough to worry about. Oh um, yeah, and there was the wire. There was that little clean. garbage can full of wire. I got to cut the boxes and stuff off. And there's some wire here that was in this piece. Some thicker copper wire, guys. Now, you get the most money by separating it. If you just sell it like this, you guys are going to get ripped off. Put a little more time into it and process it. You guys that know this and you guys that do this for a living, you understand. But um, a lot of you guys that don't know and are like, I took stuff to the scrapyard. They ripped you off because you don't do it every day. Now, remember, there's a difference between cleaning your metal and like microscrapping. We're not microscrapping. No. We're, we're getting the most for our time. Exactly. Well, people were saying, oh, the, it's not worth the time. Oh, he barely covered his gas money. All that stuff was picked up. I, I picked it up local. It took me two hours to load it, but most of the time I was BSing with the guy. You know, and yeah, we're going to spend an hour or so ripping this apart and stuff. But even if I didn't have your help, it only takes me. You see how much stuff I could process in an hour or two. Jeez, I mean, look at a, look at a bucket of brass I did. I did that brass bucket in probably four hours on and off, along with filling that one with copper and that other one there with copper and all these copper fins and stuff. There's electric motors in that one. There's a bunch of stuff. Got warm here already. Yeah, I'm going to take my hoodie off just so it can dry a little better. But all right, guys, we're going to start cutting this stuff down. Like this stuff already here is clean. No brass fittings on it. This one, that's a copper fitting. That one's got a little piece of brass fitting on it. You can tell because of the the pitting on the fitting. But even that one, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not even going to cut that for number one because I want to get done today. See, I'm getting lazy already. All right, guys, we're going to start cutting this stuff down and processing it. And then I'm going to weigh everything up on my little scale here. Show you what I actually did make tomorrow or yesterday on this stuff. Yeah, we'll get number one I was going to say that. this is number one here. Yeah, cut it here and then that will be number one. Yeah, cut that. Cut it right before the uh, solder. Yeah. Just throw this stuff on the bench so I can weigh it. Make a little pile. All right, guys, we're starting to go. Joe knows what the Joe knows the deal. So I'm so wet, it was spinning in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, that happens. Look at that. And we got all number. Oh, you gotta cut that, yep. that solder joint off. Probably should have changed the battery. That would have been good. Uh, yeah, I think that one's smoked. See? I you could probably cut that again, Joe, and we'll get number one out of yep. it. I'll put it I'll put it in the brass bucket. All right, guys, I want to start doing stuff. All right, guys, we processed everything and got everything bucketed up and, and separated. I'd also so, like to welcome you to the educational portion of this of this video. Yeah, and this is why I do this, because I want to show you guys what this stuff actually pays and what you're going to make. You know, this is just a little digital scale from Amazon. All right, this tote, this blue tote is all number one copper. And... Um, the tote weighs a pound or so, so we'll just deduct that. But we got 27 pounds, so say 26. So at 26 um, pounds, I get, what did I say for this show? You, it's 335 for copper number one. I called, it's 335 for number one copper, no solder, no, no ends on it and stuff. So how much was that, Joe? Uh, that's 335, at, I'm going to go with 25 pounds, we'll take two pounds for the, uh, the, for tote. the tote. And uh, that's eighty three seventy five. So in that bucket was eighty three dollars, guys. Now, this is a flat piece of sheet copper. This is a different price. This is what three hundred five, Joe. We uh, looked it up. Yep, three hundred five. Three hundred five. Three dollars and five cents a pound U.S. I have to state that some of you people are don't don't do freedom fractions. <laughs> so that is a little bit under six pounds. So what did we say that was? And that's going to be eighteen thirty. Eighteen dollars. And 30 cents for this piece of metal alone, guys. Just this little flat piece of metal. Insane. All right. Now, this is a number two copper coil. I have a garbage can more of number two. But I want to show you, this is what just that copper coil came out of that boiler. I've done these before. Just under 10 pounds. So that alone, if you said it was 10 pounds, it's 325? It's 320. 320 a pound for this right here. So that's just that's $32 right here, guys. You, you understand this? $32. So if you guys were saying that was gonna make 40 bucks, um wrong. <laughs> we're not done. Oh, I'm not done. This was all the brass. The plumbing brass ends we cut off. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the light. I gotta get a light right here, Joe. Uh, well, but uh this is a five-gallon bucket about Less than half full. Put that on the old digital scale. 30 pounds. So at 30 pounds, what was that? Well, we deducted two pounds for the bucket. We deducted two pounds for the bucket. So that's at 235 a pound, that's $65.80. So this half a bucket is $65 right in this little bucket. Just a little stuff you see. That's it. Which is going in this bucket. Because now it's kind of. Yeah, yeah, now I can't lift that. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to move to the other stuff. So we've already made a bunch of money. So now we're going to go to the ground here. Do some ground and pound. To be 100% transparent, we did all of the math before filming to make this process a lot easier. Yeah, so I didn't have to go back and forth. Yeah. But uh, you want to do the fin first? We'll do the fin. I've got a hold so of it. So this is, this is um, copper and aluminum fins. Let me make sure that that's in focus. Yeah, it's right in the middle. All right, guys. This gray can weighs eight pounds. Weighs thirty-four pounds. So that's, so it's twenty-six pounds. It is twenty-six pounds at a dollar sixty-five per pound, and that's forty-two dollars and ninety cents. So there's forty-two dollars in this garbage can alone. Wait, this I did all of this. I cut all of this up. Okay. This took me fifteen minutes to do. Yeah, and he and he cut. And all I used the one off. sawzall blade. I didn't even use the sawzall blade. It's the same sawzall blade I started with. Yeah. So, move it, move it back. There's like no cost to this thing. Yeah. Except for the right. And now this can is also eight pounds, and this is number Four, number two. two copper, the dirtier stuff. Oh, on the fin, it's a dollar sixty-five a pound. I said that. Okay. And now this one's twenty-eight pounds. Uh, so thirty pound, uh, thirty-eight pounds. I'm sorry. Uh, right. This is the copper number two. Um. We, so it's we 30 have 30, pounds. Th well, 31 pounds here. Eh, it might be a little off. Yeah. Kick it a little bit. Yep, yeah, it's... But at $3.20 a pound, that's $99.20. 
It's almost a hundred dollars of copper there, and we barely filled the can. Yeah, it's a hundred dollars worth of copper. So you guys that do plumbing, heating, HVAC, or just you guys that you know see stuff to grab, if you don't know what the price of the metal is and what you're getting and what you got, I mean everybody knows that copper's money. Like I mean. You know, everybody knows. It's, it's the biggest meth head joke on the, on the planet is, you know, you're stealing catalytic converters and copper pipe. You know oh, that exactly. it's valuable, but that's just how valuable. Like, that can has... It's not even kind of full. No. And that's the, that's the thing, guys. I'll, you guys throw comments out there. This, this is for the people who don't know what the scrap is. I'm trying to educate you on the value of this. All that stuff's not worth anything. Yeah, it is. It's scrap metal is a multi-billion dollar business. He's making money and he's paying me, right? He, yeah, I'm, I'm paying him I'm, I'm, to help me cut this stuff up. So what do you think? Now, we're going to load a bunch of stuff up and go to the scrap yard. And I don't know. Should I should I take all my stuff in and show people what an actual one month of a slow month call is? Well, you said you wanted to go to Stan's tomorrow. We could just load up and do it today. We, we could load, load up, up and have a light truck take the trailer. We're Why not? Stop it both. Why not? We'll make this video a little bit longer. Everybody can go fuck do themselves. Do it. And they can actually see. This right here is full of copper. That's full of copper. This brass can is ridiculous. This brass can, I think, has gotten 200. That's over 200 pounds. You want to see what you want to see what scrap is? That's a six-pound garbage can. Mm. Look at lunchbox trying to pick it up. I'm not trying. I got it up. All right. This is this is why I can't walk at night. By the way, it's gonna it's gonna tip, it's gonna tip the scale. I'm sure of it. The scale goes to 440. Oh, it'll be all right then. 176 pounds of brass. It feels a lot heavier than that. So in that can alone is almost 400 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> There's no money in it, though. There's no money in scrap. No, no. All right, take it off so you we can... You can barely afford a steak dinner with that. Yeah. yeah. Now, oh, you might be able to afford a steak dinner. Now, mind you, the <laughs> stuff we added up, all this stuff that we added up, this stuff in the can... This is one pickup. This was from one... Oh, no, it was, it was two stops. One two guy stops. had a, One oh, guy had the fins. One guy had this stuff. I wasn't there. Yeah. So I picked that up. But, you know, guys, <laughs> the metal has a value. They buy it. You had to know what you got. And a lot of people get ripped off because they don't know what they have. And the scrap yards are very... Um, they're not going to teach you. They're not, yeah, they're, they're not going to teach they're gonna, you. They're going to... If, if you take a, a pile of shit into a scrap yard, they're going to tell you to dump it off this tin. Because they're, they're not going to tell you how to clean it. Most places aren't honest. And it also, like, don't go to a yard who's not going to pay you the right amount of money. Yeah, do your research. Call around. Yeah, I have a bucket of lead. This bucket here has got lead in it. There's a converter in there. There's a pump. There's a starter here. This bucket right here is all dirty copper uh, aluminum shit. Um, Brass I didn't go through. I got I got electronic scrap up here. I have my shop has been disheveled for the past month. I, I'd but, also like to point out about the lead. We take the lead every time we go to the scrap yard. Yeah, and get rid of it. We don't like it. Same around. thing with batteries, guys. Batteries, like, what do you do with batteries yeah. when you take them? I get rid of them as soon as possible. Yeah, because they're. So then you got your wire bucket, which I'm not going to take that one today. And that one's electric motors. Pick uh, them up. That's empty. That one's empty. That one's got more copper fins in it. Worries, I so. kept it in there so it wouldn't freeze. But yeah. This 96 gallon toter is three quarters full with copper. This right here is hard to tip. I would say that there's probably 250 pounds in this can on an estimate, guys. So that's, uh, if it's 250 pounds, oh, uh, that's six, seven, it's $800 just in this bucket. And this is my number one, which I'm gonna dump that other stuff in there. So I might have 100 pounds of that, so that's $300. And then I got the big fins from the air conditioners down here. We'll be bringing in. So we're gonna bring in this. We're gonna bring this in, Joe, and we're gonna do this right. But uh, it is exactly eight hundred dollars if it's eight hundred dollars in that can alone. If it's two hundred fifty pounds. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna finish this video. We're gonna end this, and we're gonna start another one. But uh, what do you have to say, Lunchbox? People Don't missed you, it. by the way. Don't get it. If, if you people missed you, they're asking about you. Really. Um, yeah, guys, like, guys, where's I'm Lunchbox? On I'm on Twitch. I, I stream the... I'm, I'm working on a video game. And I'm I'm just streaming the development of the game live all the time. A couple of reasons I do that. One, I think it's really cool to teach people. So if you're interested in programming, come pay me a visit. Uh, when when he posts the video, I'll leave a comment in it for a link to the my channel. And... Uh, you have you a know, YouTube channel, too. I, I, I have two YouTube channels. Uh, I have one where I give commentary on polarized uh, subjects, and I have another one where I just, it's really just my Twitch stuff that I upload, 
and I move, uh, I like, I clip funny bits, stuff out of my, my Twitch streams, and I move that to a different channel. Uh, yeah. I can link all of that. That's not an issue. Yeah, um, guys, so if, if you want to yeah. educate yourself, not just on Scrap, I mean, he does computer stuff, he's building his own game. He, he's smart. He, he may look like a dumb method, but he ain't. He's the smartest guy I know. I've been I don't know too many people, though. So. I've been building websites and software <laughs> since I've been about 14 years old. I just turned 41. Yeah, so he's been doing it a long time. He's been doing this longer than I've been scrapping, I think. Flip it. But all right, guys. <laughs> he flipped the all right, guys. We're going to end this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. A few doubters and haters and people that just you know don't know anything about scrap metal. There's money to be made. If you can get the material, there's money to be made. Ask people. I picked up a washing machine yesterday. It was on the side of the road. I seen the guy pull in the park. And I said, hey, you want to get rid of that? He's like, yeah, take it, man. It sat there for a week. I passed it a bunch of times. It was right there past the road right there. Yeah. Right on Church Street. Oh, okay. I passed it a thousand times. But all right, guys. I just wanted to put this video out. I'm going to tag the other short that I put yesterday up for the people who want to see what I actually was going to make on that stuff. <laughs> and that's the prices. I called today to get pricing. And now I'm thinking about it. I think I'm going to bring another load in. So I'm going to upload uh, this video for today, for tonight. And then the one we're doing after this, we're going to go to the scrapyard. That'll be for tomorrow. So busy time and everything. So I'll show you how much money you can make doing scrap now. Some of this stuff was collected over the past month. So I want to get that uh, out there because it's been slow. February is the slowest month for scrap metal for me. But once it picks up, there's times I'll bring in five, six, seven thousand dollars worth of copper in two or three weeks. Yeah, we're doing two loads a day to a scrap yard. And... Exactly. Yeah. But all right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.